When it comes to handling events in React, there's a very common mistake that beginners tend to make. And in this video, we're going to cover this mistake. And if you hang with me, I'm going to give you a more intermediate kind of bonus tip as well here. But this mistake revolves around event handling. And I'm going to show you an example of this in a sec. I just created this very, very basic web page, although I do think it's beautifully styled if you ask me. But what an event is, is when a user performs some sort of action, and then maybe you do something as a programmer to write some code after they do that action. That didn't make a ton of sense, but let me try to show an example. So like one event would be a user clicks on this button. And then after they click on this button, maybe you want to show, I don't know, some sort of toast message, or maybe you want to hit an API endpoint to get some data or something like that. The user does some action, clicking on a button, and then you as a programmer respond to that user action with some something else. Maybe you, like I said, get some data, save some data to your database, something along those lines. It could also be the user starts typing it into an input or they submit a form. That would be a user event. Now I'm going to create a full video on handling events in React, and we're just going to focus on kind of this mistake in this video. Now, if I go to the code for this website, you're going to see I just have this home component, and that's what I render to the page. So avoid this beginner mistake in React. You see that displayed on the page here, and then we render out this test button as well. Now, typically, you handle events with some sort of on attribute. So it could be an on click in a buttons case. This is usually what it is. But if it's an input, it can be on change. If it is a form, it could be like an on submit. And then there's also like on hover and on mouse enter, on mouse leave and different events like that. But typically you pass an attribute like so to your element. So here, this is my button element within my opening tag here. I, of course, have this class name as an attribute to where I'm adding these styles. But then I also add this on click handler. And then in React, you are going to set this on click is going to be equal to, and you can pass a function to this on click. So what do you want to happen when they click on this button? Now, this could be an inline function to where I just pass a function and then Maybe I just call an alert and I say clicked. So I can pass an inline function like so. And then if I click this button, we see an alert that says clicked, which is what we expect. But we can also create a function up top saying handle click. And then I can just do the same alert. This says clicked. But then I can pass handle click to this function here. And if I click this button, you're going to see I get the same result. So you can pass an anonymous function or kind of an external function and pass in the reference to the function, which is the key mistake that beginners tend to make. Instead of just passing the function reference here, they will actually call the function within the on click itself. So doing something like this and you can see it automatically alerts it right away and brings me to this page because what this is basically doing is and i just removed that because it kept causing that alert which would take me back to the browser but basically when i have this right here every time this component renders it's going to call this handle click function and it's going to call this alert function which is not what we want we only want to call this when the user clicks on this function so make sure to only pass a reference to a function. So handle click without the parentheses. You don't want to add the parentheses here. You just want to pass the reference to a function. And that's also why I passed an inline function here that then calls the alert function because I am just passing a function reference and then it's going to call the alert once this button is clicked. I do not want to just say alert and call that immediately because that's also going to call that every time this component renders rather than only when this button is clicked now often i think that when you pass like arguments to a function 
this is where people can kind of accidentally do this. So let's say this handle click expects some text here as an argument, and then it calls our alert function with that text. And then we want to use the handle click here. Well, people will be like, okay, I passed the reference here, but I need to pass this argument. So I should just, you know, put the parentheses and then pass this argument. But this is incorrect because like we just talked about, I am calling this handle click function every time this component renders now, which is of course not what you want. You only want to call this handle click function when they actually click on this button. So to get around this, what you can do is pass an anonymous inline function, and then you call the handle click with clicked. And that's going to work just as you expect. All right. So make sure you pass a reference to a function instead of calling the function itself within the on click. Now, as the bonus tip here for testing purposes, I really like to create the handle functions or the, your event handler functions outside of the component itself, whatever possible, because this is going to make it a lot easier from a testing perspective, because then when I make it outside of this function, I can actually export that function and test it because doing something like this is not going to work. You can see I get an error. Modifiers cannot appear here. However, if I pull this handler function outside the body of my home component and I put it right here, you see I don't get any errors, which is going to make this handle click far more testable compared to creating it within the body of my home component here. And I can just write a nice clean unit test for this to where you know I call it with certain text and then I verify that alert has been called with that given text that I called it with. So as a bonus tip, if possible, it's not always possible and always doesn't always make the most sense to do it that way. But whatever possible, I try to make my handler functions outside of the component itself because that's going to make it really easy to export those functions and then test those within unit tests if you're doing a lot of testing within your application. So hopefully this video is helpful and I'll see you in that next one.